Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Crafty Crow Show. Today's episode, it's viewer fan mail, which is still odd to me because we're such a small channel. And, you know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that I always try to be independent too much a lot of times and don't ask people for help and stuff. You know, I, I try to do it myself because I feel like I'm a burden to somebody else if I do it. So... Uh, this guy, his name's Doug, he's a subscriber. He wanted to send me stuff. We had a discussion a long time ago, I think maybe back in December, about uh, Pathfinder knife. Let me get this knife. So any of you that's watched me for any amount of time, you know, with my bush knife and uh, my bush knife, Kathy, this is the Pathfinder Mountaineer. And oh, I thought that was rust. That's just some stuff on it. <laughs> It's my Pathfinder Mountaineer knife. I love this knife and was in the Pathfinder knife shop discussion forum on Facebook one time and was talking about, uh, you know, guys asking for opinions and stuff. Anyway, me and Doug started talking about it and had a real good discussion over the knife and uh, have been just corresponding back and forth ever since then. He makes homemade fire steels and I think he still plans on getting us one. So I definitely want to show you all that because Real excited to get that um, when he gets the chance to get it. And, you know, if he does it as a business, maybe we can help him out and order some from him. But he wouldn't have it any other way he wanted to send me stuff. And I'm real humbled by this. You know, I like I said, I don't accept too much help. It's odd for me, for anybody, you know. I'm humbled somebody wants to spend their hard-earned money just to send me something just because. So... I don't even know how to express how appreciative I am to you, Doug, for this. Uh, so, uh, finally get in the mail some stuff he wanted to send. I don't know what it is either, so we're going to find out together in this episode. But, first off, there was a box that came that uh, I was at work when we got it. And Kathy, you know, asked where these boxes come from. And I couldn't think of anything. Then I remembered uh, he had told me that we was going to be getting them soon. So... One of them had something about food stuff in it. So I was afraid it might be refrigerated. I told her to open it. But <laughs> and I've laughed ever since. Um, he sent me a case. A case. Of lifting cup of soup. <laughs> chicken noodle soup. Uh, you know, I know you've seen this stuff before. Chicken noodle soup. And this stuff, you know, it's in the little packages. And I can't find the one we've got open. We've already been eating some of it. This uh, this not only is great for camping and to, to put in your pack, you know, all you need is a little hot water and stuff and have you a cup of soup. I enjoy it, but also Kathy loves this. This is her favorite, you know, instant soup and stuff, especially when she's sick and things. So both of us, it's a lot, but we're going to be, <laughs> we'll definitely consume it pretty quick. So I really appreciate this. And this will be going into my pack and be, a, you know, a quick lunch or especially in the winter time. Good warm little meal that don't take much to prepare is always a great thing. So that was the first thing. So now that's the open box. Let's see what we've got in the unopened box. And I'll bring you down here where you can see it a little bit better. All right. Like I said, guys, I have no idea what's in this. He gave me a little bit of description, but it's really a surprise. So let's see what we've got here. I don't want to give away too much to you. Oh my good grief. That, the man has got me a more knife carbon black. Garberg black. I can't. I, wow. This is the. Uh, a lot of, you know, Dave Canterbury and those guys tout how much they like this knife. This is a good budget knife, this more knife. Let's get, let's open this up instead of just trying to freaking explain to you. Plastic sheath, you ain't gotta worry about you know taking good care of it. It's got a belt loop on it. Wow. Good and sharp. Got Dougie got me speechless on this one. Wow. Dude, I... I... 
<laughs> wow. That's all I can say on this one. This, holy moly, dude. So that's, good grief, that's a great knife. You know, I've looked at maybe getting one of these and awesome. It's just awesome. What else we got in here? Okay. Basswood, basswood, I never knew which one that was called. Carving blocks. So blocks of wood, you can do little, uh, oh, what do they call those things? I can't remember. Um, you know, carve out little gnomes or whatever and stuff. So it's a whole thing of basswood to do some carving with. So that's awesome because I've actually wanted some of these to start trying some of these techniques. Watch some YouTube videos, you know, techniques about carving these little men out and stuff. And I thought it'd be cool, but you know, I hadn't got around to buying anything like this. So this is absolutely awesome that we'll be able to experiment and see if we can carve some little things. And if nothing else, this gives you something to do around camp. You know, just take one of these blocks with you, have an idea what you want to do. And, and that's kind of what I had in mind with it. So that's awesome. I appreciate that. And let's see, there's one more big box. Let's see what's in here. What is this? It's a nice little box. Oh man. Oh, awesome. It's carving tools. Heck yeah. So what we've got with it is you got uh, your resin, you know, for uh, putting on your leather strop. Where'd I lay that? Got a leather strop to keep it sharp. You have um, like a little paring knife. You got a hook knife. And I'm not sure, I guess. I'm going to have to read what this is. Oh, I bet this is a blank for a spoon is probably what this is without reading it, you know. And little leather sheaths to put over your knives to keep them. And it's got this awesome little box. Everything fits in the box, of course. And then it's got just one of the slide lids and stuff to go on it to keep it all protected and in there. And that's great because I've got a spoon knife and stuff. And, you know, Jason got me one for Christmas for Man's Adventures. And I've got it with my pack stuff. But this I could keep here and have a little display case and stuff and a place to keep it all organized. This is awesome. This, this is awesome. This is just awesome. Um, <laughs> Doug, I don't know what to say, but I really do appreciate it. Uh, to have this carbon kit and you know, the, the wood blocks to be able to do the carving and stuff with. And I'm just, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm so grateful. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you sending this stuff. This is great. Um, because this is right along the lines of some of the stuff I like doing. This is what I wanted to do, this wood carving and things. And this is just great. I mean, even even these tools look better uh, than the, the ones that I've got because I bought a carving kit before and it wasn't as nice. This looks a lot nicer than what I got. Uh, to have the wood, to be able to try it. And this knife, I, I'm just shocked. You know, this is, this is an awesome knife. I'm, I'm very grateful. My friend, I'm very grateful and I appreciate it so much. Uh, you, you don't know, from the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to think about it. I appreciate you sending something here for us and that's why I want to do the video, you know, uh, to at least give you a little bit better thanks than just, you know, through email or anything. And wow, that's, it's an awesome gift. You know, guys, It like I said, it, it's just humbling to me that anybody would want to do that as small a channel as it is I'm just a just a nobody guy from Harlan Kentucky but that's amazing that somebody would do that so thank you thanks Doug I, I really do appreciate it I love it I love every bit of it this was great so I really do appreciate it um 
I guess that's all I got for it, guys. Just tickle to death to have it. <laughs> and I don't know what to say. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, I hope y'all enjoy this unboxing. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to give Doug the, the shout out and a little bit of a video here to, to thank him for what he sent. And I wanted you all to experience with me what he sent and what we got. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And Doug, again, I, I can't thank you enough. I really do appreciate it. I really do. So, until next time, the next video, take care of one another's good Lord tells you. And we'll see you on the next video.